So here's some content I'll bet you guys didn't think I would do. We're gonna build ourselves a forge and some other tools and we're gonna forge out some knives. We're gonna make some Damascus, we're gonna make some hunting knives, stuff like that. I used to do this years ago and uh, I had a really great time doing it. Came up with some pretty cool projects, had some people call me and write me letters and whatnot uh, asking for specific de designs of knives and I built them and sent them off. I made quite a few knives. That's probably going on 20 years ago now. All right guys, so to build this forge project, you're gonna need to get yourself a forge body. You're gonna need to find yourself, source yourself a regulator of some sort, adjustable regulator. You're gonna need to get yourself a propane hose to hook into a propane tank. Enough fire brick to do the floor on the forge, you'll see that later. Source yourself a squirrel cage blower. Get yourself a couple of inch and a quarter by six inch uh, nipples and an inch and a quarter 90, that's your burner. An inch and a quarter to one inch reducer, that's your burner tip. Also a piece of pipe so that this will fit inside of it. That's going to go onto the side and that's what's going to hold your burner. You need to get yourself some steel square tubing. We're going to make some legs for it so it's freestanding at a comfortable height to stick your steel into it. You're also going to need to get some way to build your your fuel inlet. So what you're going to need to build your fuel inlet is like a little eighth inch barbed fitting cut off a little bit. Looks like an eighth inch to three sixteenths or eighth inch to quarter reducer swedge and then uh, another eighth inch barb fitting or whatever it takes to fit into your fuel line that comes from the regulator. You're also going to need to get yourself some KO wool ceramic insulation. Uh, you can get this stuff on Amazon and I'll put links, I'll find links for everything here so that you guys don't have to try and figure out. You can just click the link and buy it off Amazon. Uh, so that pretty well takes care of all the stuff you're going to need to build this forge. This forge is 14 inches diameter, 20 inches tall, has a two and a half inch wide by four inch tall door on both sides. I used to use this forge when I was making knives, uh, but it's quite a bit smaller version. My version was like about 10 or 12 inches maybe diameter and about 16 inches tall. Use the same size burner. But the ticket with the two doors is you can run a piece of steel all the way through. It's, it's basically a, a sword forge if I remember right, it was Wayne Goddard design years ago, years and years ago when I made knives. So we're going to build this forge and we're going to start forging knives and show you guys how to do that stuff and some do probably do some Damascus and whatnot. So uh, let's build this bad boy and fire it up. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to weld a plate to the bottom of this forge. So what I did here is I pre-measured about a half inch for that ceramic insulation that's gonna compress, uh, about an inch and a quarter for fire brick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay a layer of ceramic insulation at the bottom of this forge, and then I'm gonna lay fire brick. I'll cut them, cut them out so that it is round at the bottom of the forge. So that goes like that, basically. So what you have is a half inch of kale wool, an inch and a quarter of fire brick, then I measured up about, I don't know, two and a half inches and I cut this hole. And this hole is for the burner to go in. So I've pre-drilled this piece here, drilled and tapped it. There's gonna be four set screws in there. So that when this slides in, you can uh, set screw it nice and even. You can change the angle of the burner a little bit if you need to. But it's just basically gonna go in like this. That thing's gonna go there. And that's going to slide in just like that. And then you add air in here, you add gas in here, and then your flame swirls around inside. Okay, so now all we're going to do is just kind of try and figure this out. Get it so the burner slides in something like that and it's reasonably centered to your piece of pipe. Somewhere there, and then we'll just tack it there for now. If 
double check our work make sure the burner slides in all the way beautiful that'll work nicely and we're just going to put it on upside down and we're going to cut out our inside piece just like that I'm gonna throw that straight in the bottom. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just put this corner at the edge of the steel here, and this corner, and this flush, and we're gonna fit it like that. The first stone will get fit like that. Take your marker, mark around the bottom side, and then that's what you cut off, and then that's what'll get laid down inside of there. You can cut this stuff with anything, even a zip disc for cutting steel, you can cut this stone. But it's better to use a diamond wheel. I'm gonna see if I got a diamond wheel. Okay, so this is gonna be a fairly dusty job, so I went and got my dust mask. You're gonna want some safety glasses. I went ahead and opened the big door, put a fan in there, opened the door over there to get a, a suction to pull this dust out. This stuff's gonna create a lot of dust. And we are in luck. I did happen to have a diamond blade for my side grinder a uh, blade for cutting masonry stone concrete all kinds of stuff like that so it'll cut this stuff just nicely so uh, let's get to work so this stuff's just like any other insulation kind of itchy stuff you don't want to get rowdy with it it's a ceramic fiber instead of a fiberglass insulation it looks like this is gonna work this length perfect and we'll just cut the doors out so now we have to get down in there and cut out the burner hole might be easier if I kind of tilt them on the side so here you can see I made a cap just the same way. I just put the forge on a piece of kale wool and I just cut it out and made a ring. And we're just gonna put her right on top. So that's pretty well it. Uh, let's build some legs for it and get ready to fire it up. Okay, so here's a neat contraption I built years ago. It's really crude, but it works pretty darn good. It's for bending one inch square tubing. So I've just, it's gonna do a bend here, and then I just measured 14 inches down and I'm gonna reverse the bend. So it's gonna come off the, it's gonna come off the forge down, out at an angle, and then down again. About the only thing you have to do is make sure it's the die, the die here is square with the rollers. Contact it and then count your pumps. One, two. We're gonna go with 12 pumps. And I don't know if you can see it, but it kinks it and it bends it nicely. We'll go with 11 on that leg. That way the legs go out at a bit of an angle. And the forge will get welded here and the legs will go out at a bit of an angle. Pretty simple. Let's do the rest of them. Okay, so we're now we're gonna we're gonna just put a little bit of this anti-seize on these threads so that hopefully if it ever comes time to where I need to remove the burner tip that the darn burner tip will come off. It's a high temp sealant to anti-seize compound. Okay, so what we did is we just put a little tape on the back here so the fitting stops pushing back. 
and uh, we're just gonna try and install this fitting into the hole here just like that and thread this little fitting on there we go tighten it on okay so there's our gas fitting stick this burner tip in till it probably gets to be about right there and then we'll just adjust these so there you go there's the forge built it's all complete she's ready for light up I just want to say that I took this forge outside and I lit her up and I burned it for a half an hour the thing you want to do with brand new kale wool is when you build it and you fire it, you want to fire it outside because it's going to blow all these ceramic fibers out and you don't want to breathe that stuff in. So the best thing to do is fire this thing outside and let it run for a good half an hour, clean itself out. Uh, one of the things you could do is you can go and get yourself a refractory, which is like a fire brick in a, in a paste form. And you could coat the whole inside of that forge in a refractory and that'll save you from having the ceramic fibers blowing out okay so before we light this thing up I just want to talk about a few things the first thing you do is you turn the air on that's important you have to turn the air on first and you get the air you turn the fan on you get the fan going and you get the air coming out the doors and then you slowly add the gas while you have a torch in there and that'll ignite it if you put gas in first and then you put your torch there to light it and the air you're going to have a wump and it's probably going to blow this stuff off the top uh, it's going to be a bit of an explosion it could be bad so air first then gas with the torch in there and light it um, can't stress that enough so let's fire this baby up one more thing i want to mention is make sure you have adequate ventilation this bad boy will suck the oxygen out of your shop pretty quick so let's fire up we get the fan on we're blowing air in we're gonna turn the propane on and we're just gonna slowly feed gas to it now you'll see it's starting to turn orange already in there what you want is you want to set it up so the flames are orange coming out of the forge at a four inches four to six inches of flame coming out of the forge and that's it's about where you want it set you don't want blue flames coming out you want orange flames so let's uh let's turn this baby up and get her warmed up now this forge here will go it'll go white hot in there so you want to uh, make sure you're wearing goggles when you're working with the forge. So if you guys have any questions about this, feel free to leave comments below. I'll answer all your questions, any technical stuff on how to build this forge and whatnot. And like the typical thing, subscribe, share, like these videos if you're enjoying the content and the different variety of videos I put out. Hit the bell to be notified. I will catch you guys next time.